You know, you, you also highlighted uh, where you were just drawing your analogy between the parliamentary system, the yeah. presidential system, how some yeah. seem to be stuck in the mm. mindset and operative, uh, operational dimensions of the parliamentary system. And the here. DNA of the uh, opposition. You then said that the role, there is no role for a national leader in a presidential system. It stops at a certain place. Mm -hmm. has no major visible role. No major visible role. Yeah. But then he still has a role to play because having brought that platform, is he supposed to just stay it, in the background? The, 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 the let us, you see, this is a critical thing that needs to be resolved. Okay? The kind of national leader you are describing, who is a founder and owner, of party does not exist in a presidential system of government. If you, if you have, if, 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 if that person, and we're now, now not talking about any individual, uh, I, uh, I've already started by pay, paying due homage. Now we're discussing intellectually. The, the, then he would, should have run for president because the president, is, the president of Nigeria is the only person who has responsibility to deliver to Nigerians, supported by the National Assembly or modulated by the National Assembly, moderated by the National Assembly, both modulated and moderated, depending on how well he convinces and builds alliances within the National Assembly. Okay. So the truth, actually, is the difficulty of the uh, accepting, okay, that one process has ended and a new process has started. And that's, what the, and that's what, sorry, Newton, and that's what with the political party not realizing or accepting that, yes. well, a certain role yeah. or alliance has ended, so to speak, between uh, the party and the executive arm or the National Assembly. This is, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the point, the, the, I call it, uh, what, what, what I, I, I call it is that you have to have sacrificial heroism. The sacrificial heroism is the, is the value, quality, action, and mindset that moves things on, okay, from a certain level to the next level. Why did Washington refuse a third term offered? Okay, why did Man Mandela, you know, say that why South Africans have to remain wonderful South Africans? where there is affirmative action to bring up blacks. If you want to keep in system on negative, negative, Mandela will say blacks are in the majority. Let's flush out, out, flush out uh, these whites, let them go back to Holland and to Europe, other parts of Europe. So it, it is critically important, and that's why I was, come, I, I was going to come to this in the answer to the problem, that even as at now, what is required is sacrificial heroism. On the part of who? On the part of the, the, of the people who feel injured. Only those who, who feel injured can be, can be making sacrificial heroism because to sac they're sacrificing something. But it is for the greater common good. But these are politicians. No, no, no. Politi yeah. their, 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 political, their political base is not challenged. Let us not in any way deceive ourselves. The political base of the elected senators as senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is not challenged by they are not being Senate President or Deputy Senate President, okay? They are still all Senators. They will still all contribute equally in debating and affecting laws and this thing. However, if you now start talking about facts of office and things and the control and management, of course, yes. But that is why the sacrifice is called for. And for every nation to move forward, those who want to lead must be able to know at what point Sacrifice is required so in the speak. larger interest of the society. Because if we now go back to the question you started with, uh -huh. you know, forcing down the truth of the leadership of the National Assembly, people who they cannot work with, okay, and who would, so that the crisis is perpetuated, then it is neither in national interest, okay, nor on a, in anybody's interest, or in APC's okay. interest. Uh, Mr. Negoti, the, the, those who would argue with you that What's your, your submission now? Fantastic as it may sound, it would tell you that the Constitution still has a major role for the party to play. For instance, it tells you that the, the electorate or the voters did not vote for the individual. They voted for the party. Yeah. So how would that tie in with your okay. submission? Uh, pardon me, if you could just hold your thought. We'll come to let you respond to that. But that we'll take a quick break. We'll be back.
Well, thank you, Anne. Let's get back to Dr. Andy to just uh, respond to the questions that uh, you know. The question that I asked was had to do with the constitution, where it talks about the 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 voter did not vote for the individual, but voted for the party. So, if by your submission that when they are elected, the party needs to go to the background. There are those who argue with you that how would that play out? The 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 individual <coughs> voted for the party. The voter voted for the party, but put in place the party put in place an individual. Okay, so that in individual is the party in government. The party does not go back and start controlling the president. The party does not go back and start controlling the National Assembly. If a party therefore chooses people in its processes who cannot represent interest, his inter <coughs> their interest just too bad. That is the way it works, and that is the only way it can work smoothly. And the, 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 we are even in a... So then, sorry, uh, let me just is it possible to let, the individual to have a crystallized vision? No, no, no. Which the, is somewhat the, the, different the, from that of the, the party. The individual's vision, okay, because you, everything is a rainbow, you know, in terms of politics. Because this is are discussing politics, okay? There is, you have center. You have right of center. You have left of center. You have extreme light of center. You have where you have this, uh, like uh, this guy who shot somebody. Okay, he, they come from extreme right of center. When you start looking at uh, race, okay, they don't want any harmony. Okay, if you look at the extreme left of center, you have rank communism, which also, which also gets gets is different extremes. Now, let us understand that the in the in the, the functioning. The party cannot come every day giving directives to government or to the National Assembly. It, once those institutions have been put in place, they run. And, and that is the way it works. Is it late in the day? Because we need to... Yes, at yes. The, well, that, is what, that is what... <laughs> moving forward. Day. Moving forward. Oh, yeah. It, it, moving forward, it is important to recognize this principle of, you know, sacrificial heroism. Okay? It is the only way we can move out of this lockdown. Okay, the, some people just have to accept the bitter pill and take it with a little bit of uh, sugary drink so the bitterness goes away. <laughs> Recognizing that the people who have been voted in and accepted to have been voted in are members of their party. Okay, the, the being members of their party, irrespective of which strand within the party they are representing, okay, they are members, they own the same manifesto. Okay. Members of their party, but one. The, you, you know, the, 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 indeed, the PDP, the PDP. Uh, let me not use a very strong term. The PDP going into uh, the management of the APC Senate. Okay, is compromising PDP more than sabotaging APC. Okay. The, so that's why I said take the positive out of it because it can of ties their hands a little bit not to be a very robust opposition. Unfortunately, <laughs> so, we, we can't expect shade on that a little further because I'm sure they would have loved to hear. How does that compromise the PDP? Well, not to worry. In the days ahead, we'll uh, bring back Dr. Ndi and Yokusu to shed more light on some of these matters and who knows how that will develop this week. We'll have to thank you for coming on this morning. Uh, Dr. Ndi and Yokusu is a development consultant. We've been taking a look at many issues here today. But we'll be back in just a moment. We've got other matters here today, so don't go away. <laughs>